And another, I already got the pose, but love the blue. Forty-three recast MPC spaceman for me to paint. Probably sell. Here's what was really interesting. Equipment. I believe there's an example or three of every piece of equipment in this. Ash, can you see this? Um, I'm pretty sure this is the dude that I didn't have, so I've now got an example of every pose, although two of them are recast. Look at this head. Kind of weird, but all these are going to go into a bucket with the crescents, and everything's going to get a nice disinfectant bag. Oh, look at that one with the gun barrel intact. Excellent. Yep. Forty three. That's what forty three MPC space recasts look like. With a sack full of equipment. So this is like fifteen to twenty percent isopropyl alcohol per volume. In the uh, Ajax dish detergent, and we're just gonna fill it with hot water. Get it all submerged. I'm not using bleach because I'm concerned it might uh, discolor the plastic. But that's that's a decent antiseptic bag, and I'm just gonna let them sit in it for. An hour just to say I did it. Whoa, and then here's the bag of equipment and the two crescent dudes. And we'll do it again. And it's no bad on the vendor. I just, I'm here with my parents, they're in their 80s. I can't take any chances on any contagion. Getting loose. I ain't going with windows. I'm going with child. I see the smile on your face, Mr. Thing. Here we are. Giving him a little rinse. Interestingly, only two of the rangefinders. The heck is that? Anyway, good stay at home project. Finally got some of the cameras. One form that I don't even recognize is this little cone. I don't know what that goes to. Uh, and my crescents. Finkel hop, right on, bro. This is the dude I didn't, the only one that I hadn't had an example of previously. He's a strange looking character, isn't he? Dude, he looks like Brian Peppers. This guy looks like Brian Peppers. Remember Brian Peppers? Oh, man. Actually, 
Actually, I don't recognize this guy either. I think I confused him with, with, with this one, which I call the Major Tom pose. Broken wrench on that one. But again, <laughs> whatever. They're, they're figures to paint. The people who... The target audience are art consumers, not necessarily vintage space toy buffs. Um, although I'll certainly make them available to that sect as well. But these are these are for art. So here's what we ended up with. 41 figures to paint. Two figures for the collection. Uh, granted that I don't have examples of those poses in the vintage figures. We'll have to go through them in another exciting video. And then this nice pile of equipment, including some firepower. Uh, these have always, I've always wanted some of these. It's like a tricorder pack or something like that. Interesting too, in that Star Trek didn't air until 1966, so there wasn't a tricorder for MPC to be basing this on in 1962 or 1963 when they debuted their five inchers. Huh. Two of the range finders, 20 helmets in all. And interestingly, it, it, I'm now led to conclude that, that there's two varieties of helmets. This one without the chin guard and those with. So I've got four without the chin strap and then 16 with. Some equipment belts, plenty of cameras to go around, only one pickaxe. Interesting. Some of a rope and uh, I guess it's an anchor. Six oxygen tanks. These, I don't know, look like a space stethoscope or something like that. This is three sextants. One broken space phone or whatever it is, and then a whole bunch of these things which again I don't know what they are and and these aren't going to be used w with with the recast because the pr the plastic is so brittle for instance there's one whose gun broke the plastic is so brittle that you don't want to force anything into their hands for fear of it snapping so I'm going to equip my vintage pieces with this stuff and then any leftovers especially helmets might go with uh, some of these, and of course my two uh, Crescents, the Crescent Kellogg Premium figures from Britain, and I only just noticed that this pose here, he's got like two little grabbers, he doesn't have a hand, he's got like a, a grabber pincher. And that's cool, he's like a cyborg. Maybe it's different than the one that I, that I have. I don't. I guess I don't have that pose, or uh, I didn't. All right. So here they are laid out. Uh, intact guns separated from broken guns. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine ten. So there's an example of every pose. Ash, can you see this? In the uh, lot of 43. And we're going to box up the ones that with the intact guns for later. And start with the ones with the broken guns. Interesting how that one's got kind of a flaw in it. I'm tempted to crack them in half just to see what's in it and figure out how how to apply them uh, obviously the more intact and better looking ones would probably do best as individual figures that would be painted and then presented to a, a potential buyer as, as individuals and then the ones that, that have some damage on them will use those in the space art something like that definitely will keep me busy I paint two a day. That's 20 days worth of, of pieces to paint. Yeah.